Hello and welcome back to the program. I am once again your host, Joe. We're going to continue with Dragon Force. Well, last we left off, I had fought... I fought this fucker. And now he's running away. And I have... I only have the soldiers I brought with me. So they're going to have to finish the job. Uh, I have this slated to happen too. God. Alright, unpause. Like, I know he would just bounce off and head to another castle, then I'd have to deal with him again. I don't want that. My loathing for you is beyond all manner of words. Lie still and await your execution. The fuck is his hat? Well, the good news is... Uh, the good news is I can just sweep every soldier, every everybody, with just Leon. By just sending his troops out. Bad news is that means everybody else has to go deal with... Fucking Xanon. Because nobody has a full army anymore. And he's so goddamn tough. Or assault. Let's do it. Eat my hamon. There you go. One hit point. That's all I need to do. Captured. Yeah, I used the aura assault on her because, um, archers. I don't want them killing my soldiers. Anywhere, anytime, I'm ready to show my fighting prowess. I, Grudar, will show you no mercy. I'll just let a soldier kick him. And that'll be the end of it. Oof. Christy love. Also captured. And then Yuryu has no soldiers. Leon again. I should have sent Gongos. He didn't win the fight. He had to retreat, I think. Oh well. I will show you no mercy. Just me. Only person on the battlefield. Only me. Uh, yeah, last time I was making a joke about, uh, okay, so Pokemon Go. Team Rocket. Would probably have more success if they spent more money providing their trainers with shields than they do with, uh, thigh-high boots. Don't get me wrong, I love the thigh-high boots. But they're not that effective in combat. <laughs> Go, Leon! He's got no magic power. All of my generals are up to full. I'll tag him with a cross rush. Then I'll let him wipe out my soldiers, and then I'll retreat.
Hopefully that works. Die, villainous scum! Yeah, so he's always talking about this sword he's got, Ecclesis, and how it makes him immortal and it wants to drink blood. He's basically a diet Lich King. And I say that despite the fact that this game came out in 1996. Which is... Oh no, I will not fall for this trap. I'll use my all-purpose contingency plan. Run away! Gongos, did you not get that one magic point you picked up? Ugh, I hate it. Yeah, this game came out in 1996. And, uh... I believe Wrath of the... Wrath of the... I believe the Frozen Throne expansion for Warcraft 3 was what, like... 2001? I know World of Warcraft was 2003. Yeah, I'll be economical, hit him with a couple of cross rushes. His attack speed isn't high enough to seriously take out a whole lot of troops quickly. So I should be able to get a second one off. Look at how slow he swings that giant fucking sword. Frostmorn hunger. Of course it does. But yeah, the sword uh, is a powerful artifact that makes him super strong, but also it eats souls, basically. Or drinks blood or something. It's an evil sword. He's your classic knight trope with an evil sword. Oh no, he's running away! Okay, well, he got away. And he brought the whole army with him again. Oh no, he's gonna bounce back into the castle! Oh no! Should I just let him get away? Alright. Go, Gongos. Rack up a win. Let's go, go, go! <sighs> I mean, technically, he racked up a win against Xanon. Jesus, this whole fucking round is just going to be me versus Xanon. I didn't expect that at all. But here we are. I have soldiers up north supposed to be going after Junon. Yay, we did it. I'm gonna run out of commentary. Because it's the same thing a third time. I rewatched From Dusk Till Dawn the other day. It's pretty good. I watched the Angry Video Game Nerd do a review of that with his buddies before. Because he's got a review show. For movies. And he decided to invite his buddy, Mike Matai, to the reviews. He normally doesn't do the movie reviews. 
Uh, fun fact, Mike Matai posted pictures of his dick on the Angry Video Game uh, Reddit, which doesn't have an age check, so he may well have exposed himself to thousands of minors. I wonder what sort of people the Angry Video Game nerd style of humor appeals to. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't think that one thing through, did you, Mike? Don't post your dick on the internet! Anyhow, so Mike showed up on the review thing to talk about From Dusk Till Dawn, because, uh, James, I think his name is? That's AVGN? Uh, he was like, well, Mike watched this with me back in college, so I want to have him here to talk about it now. And he didn't say a fucking thing the whole time. Oh my god. You're doing a movie review. You gotta talk about the movie. He's like, oh yeah, he was drinking whiskey, and, you know, the way that the movie works is just, it almost feels as though it changes movies halfway through, because it becomes a different style of film. That's true, it does. Oh my god, he's got 125 health again. That stupid fucking sword fills his health up every time. It's a good movie. Even if they let Tarantino indulge in his foot fetish. Oh. Brad Pitt made a joke about uh, Tarantino removing, separating more women from their footwear than the TSA does. And, um, that is true. There's a reason why all of his films have basically prolonged shots of women's feet. And it's a little fucked up if you think about it, because he's the director and he's using these films to get his jollies. It's a duel! Don't duel him, Gongos, you will die. Yeah, and this was, like, apparently he helped to write the screenplay. Uh, his buddy Robert Rodriguez was, of course, the director. Um, stars George Clooney with very dark hair. It's so weird, because just in my mind, George Clooney has gray hair. And then in this, it's just jet black, and I'm like, you look different. So much of his appearance is tied up in the color of his hair. Uh, but yeah, basically him and Quentin Tarantino are trying to escape to Mexico. Because Tarantino is a horrible monster, and he's on trial. And George Clooney plays his brother, a professional thief. Breaks him out of the trial. And it's like, hey, we're gonna escape across the border. Let's take a hostage. The brother character kills the hostage. They gotta grab another one. So they kidnap Harvey Keitel and his family. And make them drive them across the border. Cheech Marin plays three different characters. They get to a bar in Mexico where they're supposed to wait for their criminal contacts. And fucking... The bar is full of vampires. Twist! You thought it was a crime drama. No, it's a vampire movie. You know what? I'm gonna let him get away this time. Power of Ecclesis is forever immortal, yada yada, we got away. God. This feels like it's been a long one. I completely lost track of where we were with the timer. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. Other shit's happening. Oh my god, the round's only started. That's a good place to leave off for now. Thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I will see you next time. <laughs>